Hello and welcome back to Throttle Thrasher. Uh, today we're going to do an oil change on the Zontes. Um, just a little update, the Zontes is no longer mine. I've sold it to my girlfriend who's behind the camera, who's going to be on the YouTube videos a bit more now. There she is. She's a human, as you can see. Not a, not a blow-up doll like everyone thinks I've got. <laughs> um, so yeah, so it's no longer my bike anymore. I'm riding someone else for now, um, which I'll show you in a little bit on a separate video, basically. And I'll do a review on it because I've got a Lexmoto Michigan 125. Um, so yeah, basically we'll just get into the oil change. Um, basically the tools you're going to need to do this is a 10mm socket for the oil cap cover, um, an allen key, I think it is a size 5 allen key, which is for all the bolts on here, two bolts there, and one bolt there, uh, a tiny 4mm socket to get the, um, the sump plug out, and then obviously your 10W40 oil, we use Castrol racing oil. Don't know why just we've always got that one um, and then obviously some sort of tub to basically drain the oil in after um, and that is literally it it's literally like a 20 minute job so it's nothing difficult um the first thing you start off by doing basically is just removing you've got six bolts you've got one up here two down here and the same on the other side you basically just want to start by undoing them right so we'll just get into the last bolt like i said i've undone the other five literally the last one you'll see that will all drop down basically keep all your bolts together and if we move up under here there will be like a little popper that the bike is attached to or is it just here you see so all you've got to do is pop that out on one side go around to the other side and I'll just do the same and then that drops out your front piece pretty much but it does drop out your front piece and then it's a bit, a bit awkward obviously you don't want to scrap the fuck out of it so you've got to try and bend it around that and there we go that gives you then that then gives you access to underneath the bike um obviously when you're doing oil change you want the engine to be warm to a certain degree um the bike's obviously been ridden to where we are, so the engine's already warm, so I haven't got to worry about warming it up. Um, that basically just allows the oil to flow freely out when you take the sump plug out. Um, so the next thing to do is pretty literally just to go around and undo the sump plug. Obviously keep all your bolts together, because bolts go fucking missing easy. Um, that is the oil cap cover that I was talking about earlier. Obviously you've got where you put your oil in, and then you've got a little clear casing down here to see the oil level. Um, obviously we tend to do an oil change every 1,000 to 1,200 miles just because the bikes get ragged to fuck but <laughs> um, only politely um, yeah so I'd say the next thing you're going to need is your 24mm socket piece and your sump plug bolt is it's in a bit of an awkward place it's taken all the sides off if you can see under there the sump plug bolt is just up under there like I say it's 24mm Right, so I've loosened the sump plug bolt because it's a bit tight. Um, and basically, you can just undo it finger tight. Like I say, I've got my drainage ring underneath. Um, be careful because when you undo it, there is a spring inside of it. So, obviously, the spring may fall in the oil, it's not the end of the world. Just obviously try and get it out all together. Oh, hello. And that was what I was on about. You got the oil filter there and then your sump plug and spring. Obviously it can only go in one way. Obviously wearing rubber gloves would really help when you do this job so you don't get covered in shit like me, but um yeah, I don't really learn apparently. So and basically whilst that's draining, that'll take like 10-15. The longer you leave it, the better it's gonna drain, obviously. As you can see, it's all come out pretty quick because the engine's hot and the oil's pretty warm. Um, so all I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to clean these up and then we shall go around to the other side in a minute when I'm back with you and we shall take the oil filter and the oil cap off. So I'll be back with you in a second when we go around to the other side. Alright, moving around to the other side, all you're going to need is obviously your 10mm socket. So you've still got the oil draining under there. You've got three bolts here, which is like the oil cap cover, like I said a minute ago. Remember on your socket, lefty loosey righty tidy buys. Oh yeah not too tight as you can see 
you don't want to do any of your bolts up stupidly tight. So many people do bolts up stupidly tight and it doesn't make any sense because you just fucking just do them till they bite and then give them a little extra turn. Obviously, if you're doing it properly, you should use a Newton uh, torque wrench, but most people don't have a torque wrench. Obviously, if you were doing this somewhere else, you should probably have a tray under there as well um, to stop that from happening, but we're in mud, so I don't really care about a little bit of oil going on the floor today. Usually, I'd have a tray and I'd have a towel under there, or I'd move this. That would be the sensible thing. Move that. You see, you get a lot of oil in here, hence why, even if you're not changing, because basically, we change the oil filter every other oil change, because we do it every thousand miles, so there's no point putting an oil filter in every single time, because it doesn't physically need it. So we put an oil filter in every other change. So today we're not putting an oil filter in, but the principle will still be the same if you're doing this at home and you are putting one in, because I'm still going to take this out. So like I say, even if you're using the same filter like we're doing, you still want to take this off just to drain the oil out of here. Otherwise, when you put the fresh oil in, you're going to have all that oil would have sat in there and then you would have had too much oil in the bike. So just basically need to grab a little Allen key. Uh, just anything pointy, really, or anything in general that can go in there, and you just want to pry it out. It can only go in one way, as I'll show you now. You see, you got your front with the numbers on, and then you got this little rubber bit at the back with a hole in, which sits perfectly in there. So all I'm going to do is, like I say, you can see that filter's pretty much new. There's nothing wrong with that. So we're going to drain that and let it dry for a little bit, only like 20 minutes or so, and just let some of that oil come out of it. And then we're going to lean the bike over, pour the oil out of here, we'll lean the bike both ways a couple of times to let any excess that's like sat in the corners of the engine drain out and um, then we shall be back with you when we put it back together. See, if I hadn't moved the engine there, all that would have been inside the engine still, basically. So when I put the oil in, you would have seen that's probably like another 100, 150 mil. That would have all still been in the engine with the fresh oil, which would have made it pointless changing the oil because it would have been dirty again. And also it would have been over full by the time I put a litre in it. So if you do an oil change, always move the bike because you don't know where it's sat in the engine. I don't know what the engine looks like inside. So I just basically guessed that it's going to be sat somewhere and it was. So do that. Right, so the oil's been draining for about 10 minutes or so. I've obviously moved it side to side like you seen in the video a minute ago. Um, as you can see, that's all the excess oil that came out of it, just from moving it side to side and all of that. So, um, as you can see then, everything's cleaned up and ready to go back in. Get your sump plug cap, got your spring for that. That only goes in one way, obviously, because of the filter. It doesn't matter which way the filter goes in, to be honest. It's literally the same either way, and that still fits in there. Well, now I've said that, maybe not. No, no, it does. Yeah, it fits in both ways, so it doesn't really matter. But if you take that out as one unit, obviously, you know it goes in that way. So it's not very difficult. Oil filter drained. Obviously, like I said earlier, this applies to you changing the filter. At this point, obviously, if you were changing the filter, this would be a brand new one. So it's exactly the same. I'm just reusing this one because there's nothing wrong with it. And then you've got your old cap cover. Obviously, you've got a little spring on there. So just make sure you don't lose that either. Because otherwise, you're fucked, basically. Right, so we'll go ahead and put the oil filter in first. So you just obviously, like I say, it can only go in one way. That bit sits at the back and pushes in. Um, if you're a little bit OCD like me, I'd make sure the numbers are always at the bottom because it would drive me crazy otherwise. So that just sits in like so. Once it's not going nowhere. Perfect. Um, some fucking keyboard warrior out there will probably tell me there's a set fucking way this goes, but there isn't. It just goes on. It doesn't matter which way you have it, it still goes on, do you know what I mean? So, fuck the keyboard warriors. They're gonna suck their mums. So, um, yeah, so we've basically got our cap back on. Got our three little nuts. So, I'll screw the nuts in. Finger tight for now, just to hold it. Do do do. There we go. Obviously, I've got a bit of oil on my hands, hence why you should wear rubber gloves for this so you're not putting oil on everything else after. And then, it's gonna come up. It. Like I say, lefty loosey, right tighty for your socket. Finger tight, hand tight. Like I say, I do my bolts until they bite. Like so, now that's 
feel it on my hand and then I do a little turn after basically just to know it's done like I say if you want to do this properly and there's some keyboard warrior out there that'll probably tell me that I should use a torque wrench for this but I don't have one I'm not spending 30 quid to get one <laughs> flip bikes and a little more there we go then we shall move around to the other side and put the oil cap back in there's a sub plug bolt on the oil cap um, as I've learned in the past, sometimes you'd think it'd be easier to put it in there and try and screw it in. It's not. It's best to just screw it in by hand to begin with and tighten it with the wrench. Um, like I say, filter it back just like that, put it in basically. Nothing difficult. Put it in and screw the hammer in. It'd be a little fiddly because it's in a fucking awful place, but. It is doable. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, so as I've just discovered after doing four oil changes, there is actually uh, a sump plug bolt there as well. <laughs> so yeah, so I never knew that before. Um, so that, you can use that one or that one I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's just, well I'd rather do that one because I can clean out the filter at the same time, but yeah, I've only just realised there is two. So it didn't have finger tight. No, I've just got tight out of the socket. Um, so the last thing to do is obviously put the plastics back on. Like I say, this can take a little bit of fucking around. You've got to try and get it underneath. It's awkward. Like that. And then we should sit this underneath. Like I say, it's a bit awkward. down like that and then put it up and under and then the first thing I tend to do is put the poppers in underneath which are up and under the plastics under here like so where are they there they are One side on, and two sides on, and then it's just piss on the mini box basically. And then yeah, basically just go through a screw stick bolt back in, and uh, that's about it. We'll be back with you once I've done that. Right, so last thing to do is that you just obviously put your oil in, and um, you just need to put in a litre, obviously. If you've got a litre bottle, it's easier to just chuck the whole thing in pretty much with this. Obviously, you just got to take a count from where it is. So I know I've got two and a half litres in here, so just need to go down to one and a half. I'm not going to film this whole thing because it's tedious as fuck because it takes ages to come out of here because this is off a little single bottle. I don't have a funnel, so I basically pour it in via this. So yeah, like I say, put in a litre and we shall be good to go. And then we can be back with you once I've done that and then uh, we should give the bike a start and just let the new oil work in basically. Um, and then yeah, that'll be the end of that. So yeah, I'll be back with you in a second. Right, so the oil change is all done. So um, yeah, just pretty much just an outro and just to start the bike. Um, I would start them after just to wet the oil in a little bit and then let the engine re warm up because my obviously riding in a second anyway. So. Yeah, and say goodbye to girlfriend.